scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Every time you are lifting your voice to worship God, Caesar will come as bills. Caesar will come as school fees. Caesar will come as house project. And he says, the way I give peace is that I give you both a Bible and a coin so that while you are worshipping me when Caesar comes you give him his coin and let him go are you getting what I'm teaching you now yes sir. so while you are worshipping and lifting up the name of the Lord here comes the landlord where is that stupid pastor I'm here with police to close your church and he says the way the way I give my peace is that while you are giving God what belongs to God I know Caesar will come the tribute collectors will come so there is a provision in my economy to make sure Caesar's coin is on your hand while you are worshiping so that while he comes you give to Caesar that way you are a peacemaker hear me one of the greatest reasons why believers in this country today are turning away from the things of God is not fornication believe me when I tell you this it's not just immorality in terms of you know compromise with their bodies but the tribute collectors are coming to interrupt your worship so you stand to worship ah. we lift our hands to the great I am who was and who is and is and here comes your bill to interrupt your worship hey this is the PTA letter your twins they've increased the school fees from 100,000 to 150 and suddenly hold on please your worship becomes doubt and fear God are you still there you gave God what belonged to God but you could not give Caesar what belonged to Caesar and Caesar will stand there to embarrass you I'm praying for somebody may God satisfy you early with his mercy in life in the name of Jesus Christ you see Ba it takes time to know God it takes time to learn the ways of God it takes time to impact a generation it takes time to pray you pray five hours every day poor won't you fail one day your wife will look at you and say what kind of man did I marry you'll be surprised you will not be able to pray again so God says I want your time but Caesar also wants his coin and so you have to use your time and share it both for God and for Caesar so God empowers you are we together I have seen what stress can do to men I've seen what stress can do to churches I've seen what financial stress can do to people the devil will come to tempt you with something you will reject it he will amplify the stress and come again and say i'm still here in case 
An ungodly man came and said, marry me and I will change your life financially. He said, no, 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 no. God already revealed to me that I'm going to serve him. He will increase the stress. It's your mother by yourself that will call you and say, let me warn you, if you bring anybody in this house that doesn't look like where we are going. So no matter what God told you, that stress, will... there are many people in homes today that they should not be. Money took them there. There are many marriages that should not have scattered. Money, what guns could not do, money scattered it. Poverty is a dangerous thing. It's not about prosperity talk, my brothers and sisters. It's a strategy to destroy the saints. Some of you, you are seated here right now. Only God knows when your school fees, where your school fees is going to come from. You are a student, yet you are sending money home. So when they gave you a fellowship leadership, you could not receive it. Yet you are anointed. And you know you should be serving there, but the stress on you cannot allow you. But things are changing. Things are changing. I pleaded with God. I said I will never pastor and raise a people who are just spiritual and do not have the requisite level of financial influence. It is dangerous to work with people. The tendencies that come out of a man's heart when he's in financial difficulty, only God can help. The best of us can become a beast under financial stress. That's why the psalmist says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Satisfy me early. When you build your house at 70 years, it's not a testimony. That's mercy. There is a spirit in Africa that we must destroy. It is the spirit of lateness. Are we together? Please hear me. If you meet a young, vibrant person, how old are you? I am 22 years. And you are already a preacher? Yes, sir. A master's holder? Yes, sir. Married? Yes, sir. This car is your own? Yes, sir. This house is your own? Yes, they say you must be a thief. Now, please understand this. Now, it is true that there is the law of process, but there is a spirit we must destroy. Because what God is making out of you will make everyone around you, a, a, they will marvel and say, I knew you now. Was it not you that I saw last year? Listen. When you build a house at 60, I'm speaking respectfully. People say, oh, that's good. That means it's proper. It's supposed to be like that. When you use your pension to pay your child's school fees, they say, correct. That's the way it's all right. We're all humans. You see, those kinds of wise sayings, those statements look like they are nice, but they are demonic things. At age 33, Jesus had finished his assignment. 33, he turned the world upside down. By 33, he was done. I have fought the... I have... I have um, how, how did he say it? It is finished. 33. For someone at 33, you are not even born again. Are you seeing now? And it takes time to know God. At age 12, Jesus was at the temple. The, the doctors of the law, if they had their way, they would drive him. You are too small to know God. Wait until you are 30. It's a spirit. When you see a brilliant child at 15 who is doing well, people say, eh, he's too young. Just allow him first until that spirit makes him dull. And at 40, he's still finding out his left from his right. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The grace that can give people speed in life, may it come upon you. hallelujah you see a man of 60 years 70 years and a small boy of 12 years and you see the labor the man is shaking already he's sick but he has to pay the child's primary school fees what sort of life is that 
because of this difficulty an average graduate in nigeria may not get a good job for the next 10 years after graduation and when you meet people they say it's all right it's, well, are you not seeing me it's like that you are even lucky that your own is after 10 years you got something small in as much as i sympathize with these things it's a spirit that what you don't confront you will never conquer Are we together? The moment you see certain young people doing something great, they will say you're either a musician, a secular musician, or a uh, uh, footballer, thank you, a sportsman. You mean someone born again who knows God cannot hurry up in life? Is it a curse? Joash was king at age eight. Josiah was king at age nine. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. You lead me and guide me to the city up above. You lead me and guide me to my place of destiny listen some of you the time you should be born again you were not born again a man that gets born again at 40 you don't need advancement alone you need restoration because already the time has gone you give yourself another five to ten years to know god and to grow and to be mentored and then to understand the laws of life to succeed you will succeed at 70 so he says, I can restore years. That canker worm, not situations, canker worm, palma worm, caterpillar. Are we together? Yes. Imagine what will happen to your children by the time they are five years with the knowledge you have now. They will first get born again at two years. Filled with the Holy Spirit at two years. Are we together? By age 7, what you learned at 15, they already know. By 13, they've started their destiny. Because while they're in the womb, you will find out from God, what is my child going to become? You will not let him discover it after 35 years of an experience like Cain. Meandering destiny before you now find out that you were called. You joined police. You worked in the bank. You worked as, 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 as um, whatever it is. All of this, you were finding fulfillment before finally God said, how long will it take you to know I called you? It is powerful to find God early. Those who seek me early, there is a timing to it. Not all times are convenient. This is why you must appreciate the opportunity you are given by this great ministry to mentor and invest Jesus into you at this level. Yes. Nobody outgrows the need to be guided. Let me give the last one. The last index that measures success is relationships. Now pay attention to this one. You are as successful as your relationships. Our world is yet to understand the power embedded in relationships. Relationships are advantageous connections. Please follow me. Everything on earth multiplies on the basis of relationships. You got saved because of a relationship. You are in school today because of your relationship with a lecturer and you are learning. It is your relationship with the Holy Spirit that continues to progress your knowledge. When God wants to honor you, 
he will bring quality relationships everybody say quality relationships now the paradox is if you have too many friends it's a sign that you don't have values you need few friends and many relationships <laughs> relationships don't have to subscribe to your value system they are just connections a destiny helper may be hedonistic and may be used by god momentarily but a friend must subscribe to your value systems if you have many friends in your life it's a sign that your standards are weak weak enough for anyone to be your friend but you need relationships please look at me you are as blessed as your relationships i am here standing on your campground because of relationships a baby comes to the earth because of relationship you are not successful if you do not have relationships the clearest proof of favor is not money is the loyalty and the hearts of men when god gives a generation to hear you you are favored is god speaking to us you need advantageous relationships there are men who may not have money today, but they don't have a need because their receipt rights paid for through relationships, not cash. Paid for through relationships. There are people today who are looking for money to build houses. There are people today whose relationships have become an investment. Listen to me. You need quality relationships. Quality relationships in your life that means you must understand the laws of relationships the bible says he that wants friends must first show himself friendly you must understand the law of honor you must understand that the psychological need of any man and every man on earth is the need to be loved the need to be valued and the need to be appreciated this must be at the back of your mind while you treat people if you insult and violate this law you will never rise the law of honor you've heard me say it second only to the law of encounter is one of the most powerful spiritual laws that I've had I can begin to tell you stories today because of this when we got to the redemption camp thank God for a pastor Sam and a few of the people and I was so honored at the priority that they gave us and everything they made it a big deal my being there and i looked at the people i would have stupidly stood there and said oh they now acknowledge joshua selman but you understand relationships people forget what you tell them but they don't forget how you made them feel they are like elephants on that they will remember after 30 years and they are unforgiving about it if i come and stand here and i insult this church insult your leaders and make it look like everybody is on serious i may never come here again let me show you why doors open once and never open again one single law dishonor we do not understand the capacity to discern listen gentlemen and ladies hear me it's true that you can fail a course and honor can upgrade your score the lecturer can call you yes you failed yes sir i did honestly sir i've been I, i'm not a lazy student but i have a lot of family challenges and stress ah what is this ticker on you you're a member of this church are you a smart person he will ask you a question in passing and you answer and you say go the final year result will come out and you see you've graduated honor upgraded your score but another arrogant student will come there and say it's my right please i am not stupid i know my right and the lecturer will look at him and say you will stay here for the next four years please learn the things that i teach you success is a system it's a system that you engage i had the privilege of meeting our father before coming here and what warm reception he gave and i was very careful to make sure that i honored him sincerely your leaders here have honored me with all my heart. They have, they have gone out of their way to demonstrate honor. It's the reason why every time they invite me, 
no matter in fact it's as if the protocol department already has they just find out the date and keep their dates no matter what happens they keep it there if it's four square don't come their way honor preserved it like that listen listen learn what i teach you tonight and you will play life like a chess many people will say you are lucky but you know what you are doing you know a few people see me and say ah apostle god is lifting you you are fortunate and i say oh boy when you rise by knowledge you don't fear where you are going because knowledge took you there to keep you wisdom and knowledge the bible says will be the stability of your times is God speaking to someone? Yes, Success. Imagine what happens to you when you are on fire spiritually. Imagine what happens to you when you are enlightened intellectually. That the scope of your relevance is not just the pulpit. Don't drop the mic and look useless until Sunday. Be able to be relevant to a civilization. And David served his own generation with excellence and intelligence and understanding imagine that you are healthy and strong strong enough to see your children's children imagine that you are blessed enough to not think of money but focus on god and his purposes and imagine that you have the privilege to have quality relationships that become keys that open doors for you that man is a success i said that man is a success Show me a man who is only spiritually alive. He may have an advantage, but in this life, he will pay for it. Show me a man who ignores God, but is intellectually sound. He will go so far, but he will end up looking like his past. Show me a man who has a healthy body, who dissipates energy, eating well, adorning the physical body and forgetting God and forgetting his mind. I show you a man who will continue to flatter himself around a circle and remain there. Show me a man who all he's pursuing is money without this four. I show you a man who has found a job that will never pay him salary. The pursuit for money without these things. Show me a man who all he has is earthly relationships. He will now know that men are men. They will say, you are our king today and they will say crucify him tomorrow the same men men will clap you today and stone you tomorrow and say remember i was the one who clapped yesterday i've changed my mind so when you want to be balanced this message i am teaching you that you are receiving in one session is somebody's lifetime testimony this is pain that someone spent his lifetime learning compressed in one encounter is why it is good to come to church i was glad when they said unto me the church is not a nuisance to society does what i have done to you tonight in this few minutes i have redeemed your time now you know what to focus on ah so success is not what i seek i attract by who i'm becoming so you focus on your destiny while everything gravitates towards you Imagine if years ago I kept praying for square, I must stand on your altar. This is my desire. It's a foolish prayer. It's unnecessary. Growth already answered that prayer. For I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Listen, my brothers and my sisters hear me. We are going to pray shortly. There is nobody you see that you desire and you admire. They look like mysteries because of what you do not know. Growth is a system. Growth is a system. The difference between you today and our great fathers of faith the difference between you today and a Benny Hinn. The difference between you today and a Maurice Sorulo. The difference between you today and a Dangote and Otedola. The difference is these systems. 
That means I may come from a background weak, beaten by life, but I can begin to rise like you are rising, one step after the other. For now, you are paying attention to your spiritual life. Don't worry. Let me tell you this as I prepare for us to pray. I apologize, I know our time is gone. Years ago, when we started with God on campus, it would be stupid at that level to start teaching on money and start teaching on family life. It's unnecessary. There are levels in your life where the only thing that should be your message is God. Fire. How to fast. How to know God. How to study scripture. Are we together? If you are in that fellowship and you are turning and looking at a sister, you are really carnal because your mind should not even go there. Your assignment should be in the beginning God. You come with fire. That's the time you have the strength to pray. You can look for one holiday time and spend three days dry because the glory of the young is their strength. You will not always have that time, I guarantee you. Today, right now, having a retreat is time I must beg God and have luxury for. It was from Mina to a conference in Kaduna here and then I'm back. I think all through this year, maybe aside from the election period, I've not had eight to nine days at home this year. Whereas there were days I was as free as nothing. If I did not redeem those days, these days would not come. Is God speaking to someone? Now you have the time. Some of you, as young as you are, you are snoring away your destiny. Your father is sleeping, you are sleeping too. Your mentor is sleeping, you are sleeping too. That's the time to wake up and say, I will sleep in the future. But for now, Zakatoska Parakata. They say, this fasting, won't it kill you? You say, no. There's money in the future that I will eat well from. But for now, God, reveal yourself to me. God says you are going to be an evangelist. And you, you get the map of the world in a paper and every night you are laying your hands on it. The nation saw God. Today I get very surprised. Young people just start with God and the next thing, they are, they, you come for fellowship as you are answering altar call. You are already looking at a sister. You are already looking at a brother. You, are, you see, oh, this kind of, this, this, upside down pathway is why people don't grow please hear what i'm teaching you are we together ask anybody our fathers would tell you when they started they did not know male and female they only knew god it was even god that had to tap them one day while they are praying and say hey, hey, hey relax father the nations mm -mm. that's your wife okay god i've seen but mm -mm. i'm not answering you again turn go and meet her can you be so focused on destiny? Some of us like money to an extent. That's all you dream of. That's all. No, 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 no. Take it step by step. You are in 100 level. You are in every club. You are in every association. You are in every society. You are in every group. Whether it's occultic or whatever. You think you are social. Any man of vision does not have that luxury of time. You must choose the things that are needful. Your academics, God, and then fellowship. That's how visionary people start. As you adjust, you will now have time for other things. Please reprioritize your destiny this night. There are groups to resign from quickly. There are clubs and associations that your pocket money is 5,000 or 10,000. The due for that club is 2,000. You are the only one who is a student in that club. Resign this night. And settle down with God. Every night, challenge yourself. Whether it is raining or not, get up to your secret place. You are weak, but you are praying. Heaven is watching. My son, continue. This is the overseer of the ministry that will mentor the children. You are praying. You are a young lady here. Every night, Lord, that I will know you. And God says, this woman, this is the only kind of man that can marry her. The kind of anointing this lady is working on is not somebody who is loitering around. No, this womb should bring a prophet, not a human being. Are 
Are we together now? Yes. This is how we rose. Ask anybody who has risen here. A time must come in your life when you will not have time for anything again except God. There are people who graduated. I'm not saying to do it. But there are people who graduated and because they got born again late, they allocated one year to seek God alone. Alone. No nothing to catch up. And those people are on fire. They are blessed today. There are others who have been busy since they were young. Till now they have not done anything. You can choose where you want to be. I make up my mind to be balanced. I will know him and serve him all my days until I see him. It's a vow and a commitment I've made in life and in death. I love him more than anything. Ask him. He's won my heart. That's, that's for sure. I will never be offended in him. Number two, I made up my mind that I would not stand before anybody on earth who will look at me as a nuisance. Whether you are a politician, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a hedonistic person, I don't care. I should be able to present God with a level of intelligence that will make you know that Christianity is a blessing, not a nuisance. And since I found out my background did not provide for that advantage, I outsourced it through passion. Sit down, buy the truth. Buy the truth. Don't give excuses. Buy the truth. Don't buy clothes. Not with on. Buy books. Buy tapes. Sit down. One trouser. Yes, sir. Feed your mind. Please be careful. Don't say I'm a man of God. Everybody knows me. I need to start dressing well. Who knows you? Who told you? Settle down. All my scholarships as a student. All my scholarships. All there was not one that was spent for me for my personal no not at all it was books and books I had a small rechargeable every night I would sleep I would I bought this compendium of Bible on tapes Strong's Concordance Dake's Bible all of these books the whole series Kenyon Hagin the fathers of faith in this nation i gathered them like this you would think that i want to build a museum because the vision i saw that version of me will be joking to believe god will take it there as i leave this place right now after the grace you go to my room there you will find my laptop there are already things to study i'm not going back this night and go and sleep and say oh, i have a session tomorrow that level of laziness cannot look let me tell you it takes stamina to stand on some dimensions it's not just anointing generically the anointing needs a vessel to rest on i'm showing you the labor dimension i i'm sorry i did not really get into my topic today we have a session tomorrow but this there is a price for uncommon impact ask my people did you know that as close as I am to all these guys, the team that travels with me, I never really have time one-on-one -on -one with them. They also themselves, as close as they are, they look forward to times when I'm free so that they can now ask their own questions. When we go inside there now, they may not see me again till tomorrow. Act like you have not achieved anything in life. Act like nobody has known you. Act like your name has not gone anywhere. Don't plateau at a level. No, sir. Champions don't stop. The only thing that stops them is death. Champions never arrive. Apostle Joshua Selman, you're a man of power. You're a man of miracles. To what degree? To what degree? If you pray for 100 barren women and 10 get healed 10 over 100 what grade is that students talk to me so if you pride yourself and say oh i'm a healer based on what listen let me tell you there are dimensions that kings will not come to you you have to press kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising is Gentiles that come to your light. 
there is no amount of tiredness that sustains the power to distract me no if i miss out on my prayer time i have a system of discipline on myself to make it back Is it all right that I'm, I'm a bit open with you like this? Because many people, we, we like results. Behind results, there is a price you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine. Oh God, use me. Let me bless the nations. I agree. But my brothers and my sisters, you need to build stamina. The remnant of the house of Jacob will bear root downwards. And then will bear fruit upwards. We are going to have a few minutes to pray. Tomorrow I'll touch on the topic that I came with. But hear me. <laughs> You're complaining already. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to. <laughs> you want a vigil. We'll not do it. No, 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 no. We have to be fair. I know you are motivated by what I'm saying, but you have to sleep. Listen, my, my dear ones, listen to me, listen to me, listen, we are going to hear me, hear me, we are going to pray. Tonight, I know that I just shared with you a few things to challenge you. Tonight is inspiration and motivation. Why? Because many of us are at points in our lives and our destinies where if you get it right now you have gotten it right forever there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to clamp down your growth we are trusting god for a generation in four square that would be so young men who are extremely anointed and successful not anointed and struggling that a day in the nearest future will come in four square here where it is we will be a gathering of kings you will see someone doing ushering you will think it's because he's not employed until you see the company he runs and when it's time to pray he's rolling on the ground that in itself is a sermon to someone who doesn't love god i vow to myself that i will never lead weak people it is dangerous to lead weak people my greatly revered mentor who had gone to be with the Lord, bless his soul, Dr. Miles Munro. He shared and he said, a true leader does not maintain followers. He turns followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change. Listen to me. Seated in this place right now are the prophets of the next season seated in this place right now are the apostles of the next season you have seen it in your dreams i'm not telling you what you don't know seated here are the next reinhard bonkers reinhard bonkers is already on his way that belong to a generation but are you ready for it or will it pass you and look for someone else did you know bible students that the first person god called was not abraham abraham's destiny was his father's read your bible the person who was called was terror and he missed out on it and the mandate shifted to abraham who would later become abraham the father of nations no one will take my place in destiny no no shadow you will light up mountain you won't coming after me no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down coming after me No shadow you will light up mountain you will coming after me Oh the Never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, we.
chases me down Leaving 99 I couldn't earn it And I don't deserve it Oh, the overwhelming Can we spend five minutes to pray? I'm going to allow you, I will call and then give us a few prayer points. But in the next two minutes, I want to leave everybody in this campground with God alone. For the next two minutes, find a corner and cry, Lord, I will not fail destiny. There are men and women tied to my grace. Is there someone who can cry to God? Ah! Come on, four square. Cry to the God of heaven. Let me encounter destiny. No shadow you would light up coming after me. No mountain you won't kick down coming after me. I will not fail destiny, oh God. You have called me to be a prophet to the nations. I may not look like it, but let tonight be like the threshing floor of Naboth. Sisters, pray! Where are the Catherine Kumans that must arise? Where are the Emmy Semple McPhersons? Eli is calling Samuel! Where are you? Pray, pray, pray tonight. Lord, pour out your spirit. Is there someone praying on oh, no. all the people of the earth? Ah. Let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy send us dreams and visions reveal the secret of your heart Lord, our world is waiting. Let creation see the coming of your name. There's gonna be a great awakening. Hey, there's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Cry to the Lord Pray I surrender all to you 
everything I give to you I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing yeah. withholding nothing will you give your heart away yeah. will you give your heart away so he can use you will you give your time away will you give your time away and I I'm desperate for you few minutes that were done tonight and I I'm lost without you lift up a cry Lord I will not fail destiny there are generations tied to my grace there are generations tied to my obedience people will not go to hell because I failed creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God ladies pray gentlemen pray I may be the first from my family but here I come here I come in the name of the Lord God of heaven please pray please pray a few minutes and we're done you're not wasting your time you are negotiating with destiny You are my strength when I am weak You are the treasure that I see You are my only Lord I'm seeking you as a precious joy Not to give up, I'll be a fool You are my only Lord Sing Jesus, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. hallelujah now I want you to mention the five areas that I lifted and pray them into your life Christ must be represented in this area spiritually fresh fire mentally I will be transformed enough to draw to my life the kind of kingdom influence that is desired to lift the name of Jesus I live long and strong this body is a gift from God to me I will not destroy my body with drunkenness are you praying I will not destroy my body with anything that can tear me down adultery fornication drunkenness this body is a gift and the only host that can keep my spirit alive here pray from the depth of your heart yes you are God 
and you reign forever and ever. You are the Lord most high. Yes, you are God, and you reign forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. Bear with me. The Bible says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, Let us lay aside. Is someone ready to pray? Father, whatever will make me lose in destiny, cut it away this night. Let there be a circumcision. If it's a wrong relationship, let it live my life. If it's an addiction, let it be broken by the grace of God. Someone serious with your destiny, cry. If it's anger, let it live my life. If it's laziness, it must live my destiny. I'm ready to get to the place of destiny. No price is too great. Hallelujah. 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 Hopefully my session, there's no time to minister to people now and pray for the sick. Tomorrow we'll leave that for the morning. I'll minister, prophesy over your life. We still have a session so that I'll allow you sleep. But there's just one last prayer. We'll pray to round this. Father, the kind of hunger that will attract the mantle for a generation. Listen to me, please. Not a mantle for a congregation. Not a mantle for a parish. Lord, the kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave Reinhard Bonke. The kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave the generals. Let that baptism happen to me now. If someone praying, lift your voice and cry. For everyone that asks it, receive it. Someone you are praying for a generational mantle. the kind of hunger oh god that money cannot satisfy the kind of hunger that fame cannot satisfy the kind of hunger that the achievement in life cannot satisfy the kind of hunger that the applause of men cannot satisfy the kind of hunger that even my results cannot satisfy someone is crying Someone is crying to the God of heaven. Lord, I know I'm a prophet. I have prophesied, but I'm not satisfied. Greater hunger. I'm an apostle, but greater hunger. I'm a first class student, and I'm grateful for it. But I cry for something greater, oh God. I'm already in ministry. I prayed for a woman the other day. And she had a miracle but I'm not satisfied give me something for a generation oh God please pray pray take away spiritual mediocrity the hunger for a generation Lord they call me great but I need a real mantle from heaven I want to represent God to a generation, not just a church. Two minutes and we're done. Two minutes of a heartfelt cry. Four square, are you praying? God is searching men, looking for men in this end time. Lord, I thank you for my result in ministry, but I'm tired of this level, tired of this level.
level. Thank you for my results in business, but I'm tired of this level. As a campus fellowship president, as a prayer secretary, as a Bible study secretary, as a, as a zonal leader, thank you for where you have taken me, but I refuse to let you go tonight. You must place something upon my destiny that is generational. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you for fire. Lord, we wait on you. Hallelujah. Please listen. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be, I will share with you a few things, but tomorrow's meeting will be an impartation. There has to be a transfer. Some of you, what you saw in your dreams, what you have seen in your visions for many years, it's time for something to come upon your life that a generation will know that the hand of God is upon you. So while you go back to eat and to sleep, don't be carried away and start gisting and talking as if you are not in the presence of God. Spiritualize your mind. As you go eat, just exchange pleasantries, go to bed. Wake up with a hunger tomorrow and write it that today is the day when this mantle for my destiny comes. Today is the day when that grace I saw in the dream comes. Today is the day. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you